recommending to the congregation that they consider hiring Brother Cody Chang to come as a full-time minister. Now, I want to say today as we begin that hiring Cody Ching as a minister of this church is a big decision, but it is minor compared to some other very important things. Now, if we do that, if the church, the congregation accepts that recommendation, it will be the first time in 33 years that the church has actually hired a minister. So it will be a very important, a very significant transition time in, in hopefully a very long history of this church. At the church I was ministering in before coming to Hong Kong, that church hired me as their first full-time minister. But that church was already over a hundred years old. Now, I wasn't their first minister, but I was their first full time minister. And so today, as we come and as we consider the decision that we'll be making about hiring Cody to come, what can be more important than that? One of the first things, several things are really more important than just hiring a minister. Submission of our lives as individual Christians and of this church to the Lordship of Jesus Christ is even more important. Seeking the Lord's will and the leading of the Holy Spirit in everything that we do is more important than just hiring a minister. The unity of the Lord's church in the decisions that we make is very important. And I would say that if we have no commitment to prayer as the Lord's people, then no matter what we do, He's not going to be blessed in the way that God wants to bless it. And so today, to help us look at all of this and to understand this more, I want for us to look at a question that one of the teachers of the law asked Jesus. And so turn in your Bibles to Mark chapter 12. Now, we're in a context. We are in a context here in this chapter where various religious leaders of the day are testing Jesus and challenging him. Sorry. 
We're in a context where other religious leaders have been asking, challenging Jesus. 咁咧當時啊發生有咩事咧？馬可福音十二章就係咧嗰啲誒教會嘅領袖咧，佢喺度挑戰緊耶穌基督喎。Now let's begin reading with verse twenty-eight and read down to verse thirty-four. 我哋由二十八節開始睇起，睇到三十四節。One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, "Of all the commandments, which is the most important?" 有一個文士來聽見他們辯論，曉得耶穌回答得好，就問他說。戒命中哪是第一要紧的呢 ？The most important one answered Jesus is this: Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 耶稣回答说：第一要紧的就是说，以色列啊，你要听主我们的神是独一的主。Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And with all your strength, 你要尽心、尽性、尽意、尽力爱主你的神。And the second is this: love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. 其次就是说，要爱人如己，再没有比这两条诫命更大的了。Well said, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one. And there is no other but Him. 有文士对耶稣说：夫子说神是一位，实在不错。除了他以外，再没有别的神。To love Him with all your heart and with all your understanding and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. 并且尽心、尽志、尽力爱他，又爱人如己，就比一切燔祭和各样祭祀好得多。When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, "You are not far from the kingdom of God." Jesus 见他回答得有智慧，就对他说：你离神的国不远了。从此以后，没有人敢再问他什么。Okay, let's come back. Let's think about this passage of scripture because the importance of this question, the flow in this passage of scripture. Is very powerful and very meaningful, very familiar to us. But I wonder if we've really understood the issues and what's going on here. 我哋咧再去睇翻呢一段经文啊，《马可福音》第十二章十二至到诶二十八至到三十四节。因为其实咧，我哋好似系好熟呢一段经文，或者好熟咧呢一篇，即系呢一个章节去讲啲乜嘢。但系事实上就系我哋系咪真系知道呢一篇嘢讲紧乜嘢咧 ？Okay. So first of all, as we look at these verses that we just read, we see that a teacher of the law, one of their religious leaders, came and asked Jesus a question. 我哋见到有个文士嚟到去问耶稣一个问题，文士就系教导圣经嘅老师嚟嘅。Now let's look at that a little more clearly in verse twenty-eight. 我哋仔细啲睇下第二十八节。One of the teachers of the law. He heard them, Jesus debating with the other religious leaders. 一个文士嚟听见他们辩论，咁呢一度咧系讲紧耶稣同埋其他嘅宗教领袖，佢哋有一啲辩论啊。And he noticed something. 佢佢知道一样嘢喎。He noticed that Jesus had given a good answer. 呢个文士就觉得耶稣咧回答得好。Now. He heard. He noticed. He responded that Jesus gave a good answer. 呢个文士佢听听见佢哋嘅辩论，亦都知道耶稣回答得好啦。然后佢就问：嗱，你见到有三个动作喎？ He was listening. 佢听啦。He was understanding. 佢明白。He was thinking. 佢谂紧。He was evaluating. 佢亦都係評估緊。He said, "Yes, that's right. He's right on target." 然後就發覺耶穌佢做得啱喎，佢係係啱啦。He's agreeing with what Jesus has been saying. 
He's saying that Jesus' thinking, Jesus' responses to that criticism is right on target. It's right thinking. We're reading in Mark chapter 12 this morning. And so notice the question then that this man asks. In 1228, he said of all the commandments, which is the most important? Of all the commandments. How many commandments are there? According to the rabbis, the Jewish teachers of that day, the law had 613 commandments. Wow, How could we even remember that many? So he's coming to Jesus. Which is the most important? Now, notice, this was a man who already considered that Jesus' thinking was sound thinking, that he was right on target. His thinking and Jesus' thinking were on the same track. So he's asking this question. All of those 16 and 13, 613 commandments, which do we really need to be most focused on? What is the most important? So he asked this question. How many of those 16 and 13 commandments are the most important? Now notice, he's thinking, Jesus thinking, you know, they're going down the same line. But he wants to understand more of Jesus thinking. He wants to know what Jesus' will is in regard to this matter about the most important command. Here is a man who is responding to Jesus and coming with a humble spirit, not like a, with a critical, condemning spirit like those that were before him in this passage. So he's seeking to understand the thinking of Jesus further. But notice something. His thinking is based on the law and based upon man's response to the law. Let's see how Jesus begins as he responds to that question. In Mark chapter 28 and verse 20, uh, sorry, Mark chapter 12, Verse 29. The most important ones answered Jesus is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And so how is Jesus looking at this question? He's looking at it from the perspective of who is God. It's not just the law and what men do, 
But how does this question come back to the very nature of who God is? Jesus' answer is that it's based on the fact that not not just the eyes, not just the eyes, or what else? But it's based on the fact that God is the Lord of the universe. It's not just about a law. It's not just about what we do, but it's a matter of who God is and how God makes a difference in the way that we think and act. Jesus goes to explain this parable to remember one thing. It's not that the law is written, it's not that we need to do it, but it's that we have a unique God. When we understand this thing, it will affect how we think and act. 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 What's the first word? Here. Here. Jesus, in this place, the first thing he wants to say is to say what? In English, it means to say you have to listen. You have to listen. How are we going to think right if we do not hear the word of God first? If we don't listen to the word of God first, 如果我哋冇去聽上帝嘅説話、上帝嘅教導嘅話，我哋點樣去會去行為去正確咧 ？What kind of thinking do we want to understand and imitate？ 我哋想要有一啲咩嘅？我哋想去效法點樣嘅思想、點樣嘅行為啊 ？The world thinking？ 我哋係想效法呢個世界係點樣諗 ？Our own ideas？ 我哋想效法我哋自己嘅想法。God's idea. 定係咧，我哋要去效法神嘅想法啦，同埋佢嘅旨意咧。Here, God is one. God is one. That's the beginning point. Who is God? What is His nature? How is that going to change our lives? 主，我們的神，我們神是獨一的主。呢一個，我哋要有呢一個認知。神係獨一嘅，咁樣去，而係我哋有呢個認知之後，我哋嘅生命、我哋嘅想法、我哋嘅做法就會改變。God is to be the one and only object of their devotion、呃。所以咧，我哋嘅注目或者我哋所委身嘅，應該只係、呃、我哋獨一嘅上帝。Because he is unique。因為佢係獨一嘅。He is alone is worthy of our worship。唯有佢先係配得我哋嘅敬拜。Do you want to know the will of God？ 你想知道神嘅旨意咩 ？Do you want to know what God thinks？ 你想唔想知神點樣諗嘢啊 ？First step is to know God。第一步啦，就係、是、我哋要親自嘅去認識呢個獨一嘅神。He's one。佢係 Lord。唯一嘅上帝，亦都係我哋嘅主。Now。And so, what then is the second step, the second part of Jesus' answer? 第一樣我哋要去認識啦，神係獨一嘅。第二樣咧 ，Knowing who He is, because He is one, then we are to love Him with our total being. 既然我哋認知道咧，佢係獨一嘅上帝啦，我哋就要用盡我哋全個自己啊，全個人咧，去愛我哋嘅上帝。Love here. Is not a a warm, fuzzy, emotional kind of feeling. 咩係愛咧？係咪嗰啲令到你個心好温暖啊？心如鹿撞啊？咁樣嘅感覺咧 ？It's not just some kind of pleasure. 呢啲唔係一啲誒愉悦嘅感覺。It's not even a certain kind of happiness or joy. 即係係咯，唔係一啲愉悦或者開心嘅一啲感受。It is a covenant commitment that calls us to absolute loyalty and obedience to Jesus Christ. 咩系爱我哋嘅上帝啊？就系咧，系一个类似系同上帝有一个盟约一样嘅委身，诶，咁样去侍奉我哋嘅上帝。How do we love him? 我哋点样去爱佢啊 ？With our heart. 就系用尽我哋嘅心。With our soul. 用盡我哋嘅誒性靈性，用盡我哋嘅意志，用盡我哋嘅力量
What's Jesus saying by, by all of these things? Is he saying there are four different ways to love God? He is saying, love him with every part of you. Love him with your total being. Love him to the very last ounce of your energy and life. 即使去到生命當中最後一分力氣的時候,你都要去愛上帝,點解呀? Because he is only one. He is the Lord. He is the creator of all of these things. He is the redeemer. 因為我們上帝是獨一無二的,而且是我們的主,是我們的創造主,救贖主. Love him with your understanding. Love him with your choices. And so notice then how this man responded. Mark 12, 32. Well said, teacher, the man replied. He is a teacher. Of the law, the Old Testament law. And when he says this, he is agreeing with the thinking of Jesus. He says, that's right. You're right on target, Jesus. He says, you are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. In agreeing that Jesus thinking is right thinking, good thinking, he is also showing us his own heart about these things, that he is willing to conform his thoughts to the thoughts of Jesus. Notice how the man goes on to express it in verse 33. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. Was it God's will for them to offer the sacrifices and burnt offerings? Absolutely. But without the heart, without the love, and the commitment to God as one, all of those other lifestyle things would be meaningless. Wow, this man is really basing his thoughts on God's thoughts. This man's thoughts, his desires, have been changed by the very heart and thought of God. And when Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. Jesus, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. 
Jesus said that that man demonstrated wisdom in the answer that he gave. Jesus is showing that this man indeed agreed with his own thinking. He understands what is right. He understands the priorities in terms of what is most important. And so as this congregation comes to the point of making a decision about hiring a, an evangelist, a minister, can we say that we are seeking the will and thought of God about this first of all? Are we willing to seek the will of God in this matter rather than just our own desires and thinking? In Amos, in the Old Testament, Amos 3.3, the challenge is asked, do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? This man was agreeing with what Jesus said, and Jesus said in response that this man was close to the kingdom of God. His thinking was kingdom of God thinking. It was Jesus thinking. Is this church willing to agree together in seeking the will of God about the decisions that we're making. Uh, we enjoy knowing Cody. Many people have said that we should have him come as a minister in this congregation. But are we basing that on our friendship and our knowing him are we basing that on the will of God for Cody and for us at this time. Uh, and so we're calling together the people of this church after the service this morning to come together in a prayer meeting seeking the Lord even before we have lunch. Now as we continue to think about this, we want to go on and look a little bit more at the next two, the following verses to, to just put that into perspective a little bit more. Um, so let's begin reading with verse 35. Mark? Verse 35. While Jesus was teaching in the temple courts, he asked, How is it that the teachers of the law say that Christ is the son of David? David speaking by the Holy Spirit declared the Lord said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under my your feet. David himself called him Lord. How then can you, can he be his son? The crowd listened with delight 
listened. Uh, yeah, the crowd, the large crowd, listened to him with delight. 众人都喜欢听他。The crowd of people around Jesus were excited about what he was saying, about the insights that he was giving them. 呢啲民眾咧，佢跟隨住耶穌呢啲民眾咧，佢聽到耶穌咁樣去講嘅時候，佢係佢哋咧就好誒、呃、驚訝或者係好興奮啊！聽到耶穌呢一啲咁樣嘅教導。As Jesus teaches them, what does he do？ 誒、呃，當耶穌去教佢哋嘅時候，耶穌點做啊 ？He goes back to the Old Testament scriptures once again. 耶穌咧就提到舊約聖經啦。He's going to use God's way of thinking. He's going to be use God's ideas to teach them. 佢咧就係想用神嘅想法，用神嘅教導咧去教佢哋。And so he speaks of Jesus as the Lord. 所以咧，誒、uh, ，he speak to Jesus. He speaks of he speaks of him as the Lord, the Christ. Who is the Christ? Oh, so he, that, other people, so he, other, ah, so these monks, they, 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 嘅經文咧，耶穌所引用嘅經文係大衛被聖靈感動所講嘅經文，係嘅講嘅嘢嚟喎。If Jesus is Lord, that says that we need to put Him in charge of the decisions that we make in our day-by-day lives。如果我哋稱耶穌為主嘅話，咁當然喺我哋嘅生活當中，所有嘅決定當然係以上帝為先啦，當然以耶穌為先啦，因為佢係主嘛。Now he gives in an example in the following verses of some people that totally violate that biblical teaching. 咁咧，我哋可以留意下，誒，即係陣間咧嗰個經文咧，就係去提到有啲人咧，佢完全係誤解咗或者係誒顛覆咗誒聖經嗰個教導嘅。Now, unlike the teacher of the law that had just asked Jesus about the greatest commandment. Other teachers of the law, they're different. They're not like that. They don't have this heart to know God's way of thinking and to evaluate their lives with that. 第三十五節耶穌所提到嘅文士咧，就同我哋頭先咧廿八節睇到嗰個文士係好唔同噶。耶穌誒喺第二十八節至到三十四節所講嗰個文士咧，就係一心要去尋求上帝嘅。咁但係第三十五節所提到嘅文士就唔係啦。As he taught, Jesus said, "Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted in the marketplaces." 喺第十喺三十八節咧，耶穌咧就係去教訓人哋，就係話你哋要防備文士啊。In the clothes that they wear and in their public appearances, they're taking delight in those things. 因為佢哋好穿長衣遊行，喜愛人在街市上問他們的安，又喜愛會堂裏的高位筵席上的手座。That controls their actions and the way they present themselves。你哋留意，即係文士佢哋啊點樣去中意去表現自己啦，又或者佢哋一般嘅行為係點啦。But that's not all。唔單止係咁喎。Verse thirty nine continues。And have the most important places in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. 係啦，我哋見到佢話呢啲文士喜愛會堂裏嘅高位、筵席上嘅首座。It is as if they are making themselves the Lord for everybody else to to say, look at them and how great they are, and to give the honor to them. 呢啲文士係點啊？佢好似將自己咧捧自己去為主喎，為最重要嘅人喎、哦，叫所有人咧都係要尊重佢哋，要去嗱，你睇下我啊，我係咁重要噶。But that's not all. 唔單止係咁添。They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. Such men will be punished most severely. 他們侵吞寡婦的家產，假意作很長的禱告，這些人要受更重的刑罰。They take advantage. Of the poor and needy for their own personal benefit. They 咧甚至去佔嗰啲
孤寡嘅便宜喎，去令到自己得益處。Jesus said, "Don't do what they say." 耶穌就話：唔好去聽佢哋所講嘅嘢，唔好去跟，唔好去跟隨呢啲人咁樣做。They don't practice what they preach. 因為佢哋所講嘅、所教導嘅同佢哋所做嘅係唔同。And so they will be punished more severely. 所以佢哋要受更重嘅刑罰。Wow. God's thinking, man's thinking. 我哋見到上帝嘅想法同人嘅想法嘅分別。God's thinking and the thinking of religious leaders here in this setting. 留意喎，民事係乜嘢啊？係律法嘅老師喎，係係教導律法嘅老師喎，係宗教嘅領袖嚟嘅喎。Totally different things。但係咧，民事佢自己誒同、呃、上，即係佢嘅想法同上帝嘅想法係唔同。And their lifestyle, their actions reflect what comes from the heart and flows out of them。佢哋嘅行為點解係咁啊？因為佢哋裏邊嘅想法都係咁咯。Okay, let's go just a little bit farther to look at verses 41 to 44. Jesus sat down at the place where the offerings were being put in and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Jesus to the church, the church was being given to the church. 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 誒、uh, 有啲財主咧，佢投入咗好多錢喎。Now there were many of these offering boxes around the temple area at that time。喺喺當時咧，聖殿裏邊咧有好多奉獻箱啊。And and the offering boxes were something like a big funnel like this. You know, a big opening. 好似一個大。You throw your money in and. 好似一個漏斗咁樣嘅，你投啲錢落去就會自己上落去。And so here were these rich people making a big show of, of throwing their money in these offering boxes. 咁啲有錢佬咧就係一抌就抌好多錢啦，咁樣好似一個誒表現自己咁樣。But a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a fraction of a penny. 有一個窮寡婦來往裏投了兩個小錢，就是一個大錢。Now. How does Jesus view this? Yes, so we didn't tell it. How does he think about these kinds of things? Can we have the message for us? He says there, calling his disciples to them, Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all of the others. Yes, so give one to a lot. So what's that joy goes on in boy? 這窮寡婦投入婦女的，比眾人所投的更多。They gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all that she had to live on. 因為他們都是自己有餘，拿出來投在裏頭，但這寡婦是自己不足，她把一切養生的都投上了。She is a model of loving God with her total strength. With her heart, her mind, her soul, everything is going to be given to the Lord in the first place. 頭先我哋睇到咧，經文講到我哋要盡心、盡性、盡意、盡力愛主我哋嘅上帝。呢個寡婦就係一個好嘅榜樣啦，俾我哋睇到就係咁樣去愛上帝啦，就係將你所有嘢去俾上帝。Jesus said, "I tell you the truth." 耶穌話：我實在嘅話你聽。This is the right way of thinking. 呢一個係正確嘅想法，即係個寡婦嘅做法係正確嘅。The woman put in more than everybody else。呢個寡婦所投入嘅比眾人更多。Because it was as though she was putting her total life there, it represented a willingness to be totally dependent on God for her needs and her life。因為佢將自己一切嘅，佢都係完全去俾咗上帝，咁係代表佢係願意全然嘅去依靠神。And it wasn't because she had resources. She was a poor widow. 唔係因為佢有好多錢，所以佢咁樣去俾曬出嚟，而係佢係一個窮嘅寡婦。And in God's eyes, when we give ourselves, being totally dependent upon Him, with this kind of an attitude, He honors that 
and he blesses them. 如果我哋都真係好似呢個窮寡婦咁樣去倚靠神嘅話，你見到上帝係會去讚揚、讚揚呢一個寡婦嘅，即係讚揚咁樣做，亦都係去會去祝福佢嘅。And so today, we're going to be having a prayer meeting in a little bit after the closing of our service. 今日咧完咗崇拜之後，我哋即刻會有一個祈禱會。A prayer meeting seeking God. 係一個尋求上帝旨意嘅禱告會。Seeking God's will in relationship to this church. 係想尋求咧，上帝對於我哋教會嘅旨意係啲乜嘢 ？Seeking God's will in relationship to whether or not we should move forward with the proposal to invite Cody to come. I want to close this message today with the very last verse in the book of Hosea. We are going to use Hosea chapter 14 and verse 9. 去做一個總結啦，即係《何西亞書》第十四章第九節。Hosea chapter fourteen verse nine. Who is wise? He will realize these things. Look, mummy, I. 誰是智慧人，可以明白這些事？ Who is discerning? He will understand them. 谁是通达人，可以知道这一切？ The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. 因为耶和华，因为耶和华的道是正直的，义人必在其中行走，罪人却在其中跌倒。We're going to go ahead and move into our communion service at this time. I'd like to have Evelyn go ahead and call the class. As we prepare for communion, I'd like to just share with you a few thoughts from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, where Jesus, where Paul talked about the meaning of communion. 咁咧，我哋誒一齊睇下咧，講唔講多前書第十章，保羅咧點樣去提到咧 ？Okay，Paul talks about chapter ten, verse sixteen. Is not the cup of blessing for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ? And it's not the bread that we break, a participation in the body of Christ. 哥林多前书第十章十六节，我们所祝福的杯，岂不是同领基督的血吗？我们所抹的饼，岂不是同领基督的身体吗 ？Because there is one loaf. We who are many are one body, for we all partake in one loaf. 我们虽多，仍是一个饼。Communion. What is communion? 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 Of our salvation. Saint John, eh, is our salvation. It's a thanksgiving. This is thanksgiving. It is a participation in the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. It's a participation. We who are many members. Part of one body. 
one body because we partake of one love, which is Jesus Christ. 點解我哋係一個身體啊？因為我哋係同靈基督嘅身體。上帝係得一個嘅啫。And when we participate in the body and the blood of Christ through the communion, we are becoming one with Him. 我哋咧喺聖餐當中啦，領受呢一個杯，呢個領受基督嘅血，領受基督嘅身體啦。我哋喺藉住聖餐，我哋都係同佢去成為一啦。That word for participate also means fellowship, a sharing in. The body and the blood of Jesus. This fellowship, what is it? Ah, also talks about sharing. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body and the blood of Jesus. Ah, we share in the body 今日我哋去領受聖餐嘅時候，我哋邀請每一位誒、呃、已經受浸歸入基督嘅弟兄姊妹，同我哋一齊去領受。Baptism is dying with him, being buried with him, rising with him, becoming one with Christ, and that's what we remember in the communion time. 浸禮係乜嘢啊？浸禮就係與基督一齊去死，一齊去埋葬，一齊去復活啦，同基督咧合一嘅。咁我哋領受聖餐就係去紀念到呢一樣嘢。In a moment, we'll sing a song of 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 drawing near to the Lord, remembering. 我哋會誒先唱一首歌啦，去臨去記去臨下去思想咯。Then there will be those who will pass the communion emblems to us. 然後咧，我哋就會傳呢一個誒聖餐嘅盤啦。After the prayer time, if you will be partaking in the communion, we invite you to remain standing. 跟住我哋會一齊祈禱嘅，咁誒、呃，如果你係同我哋一齊領受聖餐嘅話咧，我哋請你繼續同我哋一齊企喺度。If you are not going to participate in the communion, just just sit back down and use that time for quiet prayer. 如果你係未誒誒、呃、今日唔同我哋領受聖餐嘅話咧，就請你安靜嘅誒、呃、坐喺你自己嘅位嗰度。After we have received the bread and the cup. We will hold those until all have received them, and then we will partake together. 當你攞咗呢個杯呢個餅之後咧，我哋就會等所有人都係都係攞咗啦。咁然後咧會一齊咧去領受嘅。So it is a way of celebrating our oneness with Jesus Christ as we do that. 嗯，我哋領受聖餐嘅時候就係去慶祝咧，同基督咧可以有個聯合啦，有合作。我哋一齊去分享嘅係基督嘅生命。Seeking Him. May God bless us as we shall so participate. When we are together, we shall be united.